וואו. Sometimes I get you thinking what I think about news of the past. I didn't say history, I said news of the past. Generation becomes short between the transcripts, <coughs> the documents, the scrolls, the hidden codes left behind, and the truth. In the Akashic records are not parallel. History. His story. He who paid for it. Getting a picture yet? News and truth. Documented time. Timeless moments. Start looking at Akashic records. And Google it. Google it until your lips fall off to it if you have to, so you can get the empirical evidence that some of us in high level intelligence possess, and the rest are just grappling to try and keep up with it. I have waited eternities to reveal certain information in its time, in its place, in whatever dimension it was supposed to be delivered in. I have had my fingers throughout time that you will never know about unless you can recall me. Come back and recall it. You guys have no hurt to this who you're guessing. There's no middle line here. Well, no. it's hard to get the middle of the road there with a the cement median that would hurt like a mother. Dark humor. You have to have been a victim of eight hit and runs in less than seven months, and three in the last couple weeks alone, and two, your birthday week in the morning, awakened. Uh, wow, the significance of all the numbers, the combinations, of, it gets long. But let's just say I'm doing some low speed afterburner, because <coughs> allegedly I'm dead again. I sure feel it. I mean, there were times I said, you know, I kind of feel like I'm sitting by a bus. And it may have been other things, but it wasn't a bus at that point. After being hit at age nearly 60 by my first double decker bus, weighing in with passengers in, in excess of you know, 25,000 pounds, several freaking tons, and being hurled against another eight ton vehicle with witnesses. In broad daylight at four in the afternoon, Memorial Day, uh, and nearly killed. Most people are still be in the hospital and barely able to think. And then having another one the day I get out of the hospital from all of that side of the drama with, you know, like three inches worth of paper documents saying, here's all the examination notes, and there's a shitload ton more in the cloud and on microfiche and you know, all kinds of other documentation forensically. Yeah, you're hurting from head to toe, it's a miracle you're still alive, walking, driving, and you're wondering when you get pissed off. There's certain things in my DNA, my code, if you will, or whatever, my reboot. <coughs> yeah, I'm not spooky. I've been rebuilt head to toe so many times, I've, I've lost count. Am I an android? No, not a fucking chance in the world. Do I have certain abilities and powers that most people will never possess in their wildest imaginations? Fucking ain't right. Do I deserve them? I don't know. I didn't have the decision always, all the time. Uh, I, but I do remember reconstructive and other surgeries dating back to childhood. And I still have some disguise to prove it. Um, some in hindsight, <laughs> and that's the sense of the very. Uh, I, I, I see the purpose for the time and what they do. Others, I'm thinking, who was the voodoo person who arranged for that bullshit? But, you know, 
that's a whole other story for a whole other time. What we're looking at is these are near the end sometimes. When you have jackasses that think somebody's going to win World War III and more fake news than a pile of horse shit sitting on your breakfast table that's disguised as, you know, your favorite breakfast desserts and breakfast. Um, people are swallowing fake news, artificial additives, artificial this, artificial bullshit and synthetic that, and they're not only doing it to themselves, they're doing it to the family, to the children, and to the masses, helping to kill themselves, and they're too stupid to wake up. So if you know any sheepo, abble them today and say, yo, you know what, hey, why don't you try this? It's natural foods, or it's natural. You want something to smoke, it's clean and pure and natural. Uh, or it's, it's, at least it has remedies and cures in it, you know, like cannabis or whatever. How are you going to be in the positive solution to sin of continuing to be the universe of dumb sheep or assholes who are too self-obsessed, too self-absorbed, too much of a victim, too much too, 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 too many categories to throw them into, but you're starting to get the picture. And get out of judgment and find ways to help each other heal and heal the planet that you've so desperately destroyed. In your pursuit of happiness, advancements, technologies, in the last half a century alone, you've eradicated more life forms than existed since the last extinction to the tunes of millions that you disclose and many more to those of us who matter. It's time we stop the lies. It's time you get in the solutions and take a stand for peace, take a stand for honesty, take a stand for coexistence, take a stand for something, or get ready to fall to the last debacle in your own privacies and prophecies, religions, teachings, whatever, between the good, bad, and the ugly, and all the propaganda bullshit stuff. You know, if you got so great, why does he tell you you hurt other people and get virgins? Or, you know, why does he always need money? And I'm going to hell if I do what? At some point, some common sense shit kicked in and said, some of these things are not as big as they seem or they'd like me to believe. And other things are just a complete pile of unmitigated, I don't want anything to do with this. I'm trying to be diplomatic, but there's so many other words dancing in my head right now after some of the experiences I've gone through, including note to Norton, note to my security team and others, I found some new compromises being worked on at our highest levels and what they can do and uh, the downsides if you don't catch them in time. Since I've lived through several cyber attacks in the last 24 hours while I've been putting out forest fires and stealthing and cloaking and doing things off grid that most people can't even fucking imagine because they're too, you know, whatever. Um, if you can help, now would be a good time to get off your ass and let us know. Or you could just wait till the end of time and explain to whoever your maker is why you were such a dumb shit. Or you can stay with the other side and then it'll be obvious who the dumb shits are and make everybody's job at the end of time a lot easier. So go finger, but do something. Or you're not kind of on the right side of the table, you're not going to be on the left. You know, it, it gets to be ugly. Figure it out. Or we'll figure it out for you. I hear before the end of 2020, look at the Georgia guys' towns or the Doomsday Monument. It's a lot of languages, 12. I'm sure you can find something to talk about.